This is just a little update on all the, uh, all the uh, Carolina Reaper peppers I planted. I don't think that's a pepper. These are all peppers. These are all Carolina Reapers on this side, and this other side is this new species, Dragon's Breath peppers. The last uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine slots there. Those would be interesting. These are the uh, some purple peppers. I've pretty much given up on this black corn. None of it, none of it germinated. I even put. whole package in water and they didn't even sprout after these ones didn't germinate so I've given up and I planted the uh, purple okra in here here's uh, a new group of the black black tomatoes it is really black, black tomatoes but they're really high in cancer fighting enzymes and stuff and uh, just to show you how far we got the other ones, those ones would be about two weeks old. And these ones here, well, these are all uh, fig, uh, sorry, not fig, uh, date, date uh, bombs. I don't put that a while ago. Okay, these ones are about uh, almost two months old. And you see how slow they've grown? Because we're in full shade here. Under this uh, avocado tree, I think it's because we're in full shade. I really don't know why they're not growing here. But anyhow, they're fighting to get growing. And the some other ones the same age, which is about two and a half months or about ten weeks. Are these ones? And they've already grown enough to flower. They do take a little bit of shade from these sunflowers, but they've certainly flowered already. Now we're in back here. I think we have one fruit. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe one fruit on there. There could be a fruit back here too. I can't see it. <coughs> we have these that are the same age. And then over here, over here. They're also the same age, and look at how big these things are, comparatively to me. I mean, this, uh, if I kneel down, this goes above my head here, so. <coughs> and uh, these are much, much more mature. Uh, there is also flowering. I don't know if we have any fruits or not yet, but there's also flowering. In our big meat tomato, we have uh, one and mixed in here, and it's uh, fused flowers in there, so it's going to be some pretty big tomatoes. So look at the size of these babies already. So we're going to take a quick peek at the some other tomatoes we have growing here, which is the big uh, beefsteak tomatoes. But the Dutch call them meat tomatoes. And these ones also are flowered, but not as advanced as the ones at the front in the full, full sun. This has a, under the lime tree. So they're growing good, they're healthy, it's just they're not as developed as out in the full morning sun. So we're going to get about five, good five, maybe almost six hours of sun right here by the banana clumps. And uh, they just love this. So if you put them on a on a east east facing wall, then uh, they do really really good. These tomatoes. I don't know how they do in the full day sun. So far, the ones we have out in the full day sun with partial shade cloth are doing well at all. These ones are doing beautiful, as you can see. Yeah, that's like a triple tomato, so I wonder how big that one's going to end up. 